Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install Xamp on Windows. So let's type Xamp and let's hit enter. Now let's go to this first link, it is on apachefriends.org. So the name of this application is Xamp and X means any operating system, it can be Windows, Linux or Mac OS. The A here means Apache server, the M means MariaDB. The first P means PHP and the second P means PER. So to download it, we have to scroll down and to click on this link. Now we need to save this installer for Windows. In my case, I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download. Now let's go to the desktop and this is the installer that I have already downloaded. Now let's run it. So here we have this warning which says that we should not install exam on program files. So let's click on OK. And in this window we have just to click on Next. Then here we can customize the installation but in my case I will install the default configuration. So let's click on Next. So exam will be installed on this default folder. So let's click on Next. And I will install it using the English language. So let's click on Next. Now in this window I will just uncheck this box. Now let's click on next and let's click on next again. Now exam is being installed so we need to wait till the end of the installation. Now the installation finished correctly after about 5 minutes. So here I will just uncheck this box and I will click on finish. Now to start the exam server we have just to go to the folder where exam has been installed so we have to go to the C drive then exam and here we can just scroll down and we have this application that we need to execute so I will create a shortcut of this application on the desktop and now let's close this folder. So to start the exam server, I have just to execute this shortcut. And I obtain this user interface. So here we can start the Apache server using this button. Now the Apache server is running and is using these two poor numbers. Also I need to start the MySQL server. So let's click on this start button. Now the server is running correctly and is using this poor number. Now to test the Apache server we can just click on this admin button. So this page will be opened and this means that the server is running correctly. Also we can go to PHP my admin so let's click on this button. And now we are connected to the MariaDB database and these are the available databases. So for more information how to use PHP my admin you can take a look on the video link that is available in the description. Now let's minimize the browser and for this user interface it is possible to close it. So when I close it it will be hidden and we can open it again using this button. So if I make a double click on this button I obtain this interface. And now let's create an HTML file that will be served by the exam server. So let's go to the folder where exam has been installed. So we have to go to the C drive, then exam. And here we need to open this htdocs folder. So in this folder we have to create the new HTML file that will be served by the server. So I will create a new HTML file called welcome.html. Now let's hit enter and let's click on yes to modify the extension. Now I will open this file using notepad++ and here let's write some HTML code. Now let's save this file and let's close it and let's go to the browser and here we have just to type localhost slash welcome.html. Now let's hit enter and this is the obtained page. Now let's create a new PHP file. So let's go to the same folder and here let's create a new PHP file. So I will call it test.php. Now let's hit enter and let's click on yes. So I will open it using notepad++ and here let's write some PHP code. Now let's save this file and as you can see it is similar to the previous one. 
but here I added two PHP statements. This allows us to print this text to the user, and this allows us to print the current date to the user. Now let's close this file, and let's go to the navigator. So here I have to type localhost slash test.php. Now let's hit enter, and this is the obtained page. As you can see, these two lines are created using PHP. Now to stop the server, we have just to go back to this icon, then double click, and here we have just to click on stop. Then let's stop the Apache server as well. And now the two servers are down, so if I go back to the navigator and I refresh this page, I will obtain this error. This is because the server is down. So to start the server again, let's go to this user interface, let's start the server, and let's start MySQL. Now the two servers are running, so let's go back to the navigator and let's refresh this page. And this time we have this page. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.